We're making biscuits this morning in honor of someone really sweet in Lucy's life. <laughs> we certainly are. We're always excited to have Lucy here in our kitchen since day one of Studio 10. <laughs> you have been with us here, so we consider you family, and Thank we have you. to talk a little bit about your family this morning. Yes, we, like Chelsea said, we lost our beloved grandmother, Posey, who's been on this show before, and I've made so many of her recipes. Mm -hmm. um, her pound cake was so popular um, on the show, and she passed away at night. 94. She wow. just had her 94th birthday a couple weeks ago. And um, so my mom said, why don't you do Posey's Biscuits on TV today? So <laughs> it's always fun to share uh, family recipes. And mm -hmm. of course, everybody always asks, do you come up with all those recipes? So most of them I do, but I love sharing um, family recipes. And George, who we talked about earlier, yeah. um, the Fox 10 maintenance guy is in the wings here because he is always saying, do biscuits, do homemade biscuits. So <laughs> I'm here today doing Posey's biscuits. Um, and it's uh, just a recipe she always made. And I didn't know, you know, you don't think of your um, your grandparents as being younger. Or you're really your parents, you know, growing mm -hmm. up. And my mom said yesterday, um, Posey made these all the time um, when she was growing up. So I'm oh. like, oh my gosh, you know, you just don't realize um, how far back some recipes go. Um, but it was definitely a, a recipe that she always made um, for us. And I went by uh, my mom's house yesterday and I got her a little biscuit cutter. So hey. this is the one that she used. She lived with my parents for the last 10 years, um, which, you know, was... Uh, uh, a struggle at times sure, <laughs> for mom sure. and dad, but certainly a blessing. So anyway. Well, 94 years, a life uh, well led for yeah. sure. Let a, me take the moment to say that our thoughts and prayers Aww. are with you and your family. Thank um, you. you did uh, send uh, Chastity and I a picture. I, f I forgot. W maybe we can show that toward the end of the show oh, yeah, in the last yeah. segment. We'll see if we can get that on air. I'll send it to our producer, we Allison. Should. But it was when Posey joined, joined us on the show before. <laughs> uh -huh. So like we said, it's so great to have you all as part of the family and then mm -hmm. that's what Greer's too is all about too. It's a family tradition for so many years. It now. is. We're yeah. celebrating our 106th year, 106 wow. this year. Um, so, you know, we uh, we're definitely, definitely blessed in a lot of different ways. Um, so I'll just do the dry ingredients before we go to break. So I started with four cups of all purpose flour and then I just added eight teaspoons of baking powder and I added one teaspoon of salt and Posey was I mean, the biggest sugar tooth, sweet tooth you've ever, <laughs> ever seen in a person. Um, so she added quite a bit of sugar to this recipe, even though it's a savory biscuit. Um, but the great thing about this recipe is that it's awesome for strawberry shortcake. Oh, um, but yeah. it's also, you know, or just a regular traditional biscuit as well. So I added um, four tablespoons of sugar in there. So we're just going to sift these ingredients together and then we'll keep working on the rest of it. So for the folks at home, if they want to add this amount of sugar, great. If they want to try <laughs> A little less, they can do yeah. that too. Yeah, they definitely can. You could uh, cut it in half, actually. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Posey's biscuits in the Studio 10 kitchen this morning. Can't wait to see how they turn out. We already see those there. We know they look absolutely fantastic. Chelsea. Oh, I know that's a sweet recipe. So, so thankful for Lucy to have her on the show this morning making something really sweet. Oh, we are back on. We're having a conversation. <laughs> I'm like, we're having a conversation. <laughs> Welcome back to Studio 10. Me and Lucy are obviously very into the conversation <laughs> we're having, but thankful that you're with us today. Happy Wednesday. Lucy is live with us this morning making something really sweet. We are. We're making Posey's Biscuits, yeah. which Posey is my grandmother that we've talked a lot about, and, um, and she's even been on here before, mm -hmm. so she just passed away at 94, and um, actually, it was a really sweet time that this happened. Mm -hmm. um, um, because it's always just the circle of life is so interesting and my cousin just had her first baby my cousin Sarah is in the hospital right now and they're watching she just had oh. her firstborn Shep yesterday she and her husband Jeremy and we have been praying for this baby mm -hmm. for they probably have an exact number of days but at least seven years wow. um, and so Posey passed away on Friday and baby Shep was just born yesterday so um, um, you know, just life has a way of, um, you know, giving us blessings and, right, right. you know, um, our family is very close and, and very special and um, we always uh, 
every everybody wants to know what we're having, when we're having, if we're having breakfast, we want to know what we're having for lunch, right. what we're having for supper. Right. You know, when we plan family gatherings, it's like, what are we going to eat? And, um, and this is my mother's side of the family that, that we're talking about. And so anyway, Aww. I just love to, um, to share family recipes and we're just, you know, we just have a lot of blessings and it, it's really easy to get caught up in you know mm -hmm. the negativity and mm -hmm. all the bad things going on but both oh. sides of my families are very positive people and it's hard but um oh. but but we try it's so. so sweet well our thoughts and prayers obviously with you guys Thank it's tough you. but it's so good to have some exciting news to look forward it to is. too so congratulations to your cousin on that sweet baby ship can't wait to see pictures I here know. I'll have a to little share. bit later but we are making um posies biscuits in honor of lucy's grandmother yes. this morning and so you've already done the dry ingredients Mm -hmm. It looks like you added some cream cheese. Yep. Well, it looked like cream cheese. Oh, is it not? It is not. It was. <gasps> what um, is it? Oh, this George was, is about to. Oh, George is back there. <laughs> hey, he had to come over and ask too. So this was shortening. Um, so she used Crisco, and um, this was just one cup of Crisco. Uh -huh. And I am just mixing it in with a fork, and um, you just want to. I mean, you can use a pastry cutter if you have one. If right. not, just use a fork. And I'm just um, cutting it in, and you. Just want it to be about the size of peas, and you can even use your fingers um, if you want to, mm -hmm. just to break it up, just to you know, into kind of little pieces like that. And then the last ingredient that we're going to put in is the milk. Oh. So I have one and a third cup milk, and so I'm just gonna start pouring that in. And I just have some more on standby in case you know you may need to add a little bit more just to. Right. get it right all the way combined and then we're gonna roll it out well you were just telling me earlier you and George like to eat the biscuit <laughs> dough which I've never heard and I'm sure every southern man or woman just yelled at me for calling shortening cream cheese <laughs> but you like to kind of snack on the dough I eat any dough I'm a weirdo <laughs> cookie dough biscuit dough if I'm making something I gotta taste that batter of the dough I'm weird um so yeah and the, I was telling y'all earlier like this biscuit dough and my on my grandmother's recipe like it was two um, or four teaspoons mm -hmm. of sugar, and she scratched out teaspoon and put tablespoon. This woman <laughs> is, she was crazy on sweets. Oh, so, um, <laughs> so, you know, you can cut it back if you want to. That's but, so sweet. Um, and if you want to take a bite of the day, you certainly can. All right, well, we will have to do that, I guess, with Lucy and our maintenance guy, George, yes. here coming up on the show. Before we go real quick, um, a new ad drop today for Greer's. Yes, always on Wednesdays. Yep. So, um, and I just got the um the daily uh, kitchen special from our downtown store it's mm -hmm. grilled mahi mahi with Yum. cilantro rice and fresh green beans it looks so good so if you haven't made lunch plans and you're downtown um, go check out our new store and have lunch okay well make sure you do that it's super nice and great I mean really great food I'm always mm -hmm. impressed with the food there but especially when I get to see something um, pop up on my timeline because you guys yes. are good at social media as well so we're gonna keep you updated on Posey's biscuits and updated on Greer is coming up with Joe next Joe all right, can't wait to keep working on that. Welcome back in to our cooking segment alongside Lucy. If you miss us earlier in the show, we are celebrating the life of Lucy's grandmother, Posey. We are, and we're making her biscuits today. So oops, have her biscuit cutter, which yep. I told you. I, um, she always made these. Okay, so I'm just rolling it out. So we'll, we'll I'll just kind of tell everybody about the dough first and then we'll keep talking. But this was just a simple dough. So it's just all purpose flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, uh, Crisco and milk. And so I'm just rolling it out now on a floured surface, of course. And biscuits are funny, I mean, you know, there's a lot of different, um, George was asking, you know, well, these are kind of short, um, you know, and sometimes they're really thick. I mean, they're just right. biscuits are kind of like gumbo. There's just a million different ways to make it. Um, so hers were like this, just kind of um, on the shorter side and she spread them out when she baked them, which is what we're going to do on, on this pan. But if you put them together, close together, they'll rise a little bit more for you. But anyway and you can also roll them out to you know to be on the thinner side depending on your cookie cutter this is a really short cookie cutter mm -hmm. so we have to roll it out to about a quarter inch thick so it just um 
it depends. But the good thing about biscuits, like what I was telling Chelsea, is I mean, they're biscuits. It doesn't matter if they're perfect. Like they're still going to taste good. So um, I, I think that's a, a famous quote. Uh, the good thing about biscuits is they're biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone agrees with that. Hey. I'm going to make that into a t-shirt and wear it next time. Uh, you should. Just giving I, me grief. I, I want one of those t-shirts. Yeah. I like that. All right, so we're so, using her, her classic biscuit yes, cutter. Yes, I told my mom, like, where's that biscuit cutter? It had, like, the ridges on the side. And um, and so she pulled it out for me. And we're going to bake these at a super hot temperature, 450, and just for about 10 or 12 minutes. And, um, you know, you're more than welcome to brush it with a little bit of milk or cream and um, get a really nice even brown or you could just you know toss them in here and you're it's gonna get a nice golden brown anyway so just really simple recipe and um, it's really good for um, strawberry strawberry shortcake Ooh. which we really like to do in our family I love a bacon egg and cheese biscuit Ooh, in the yeah. morning you could do that you for could. Mother's Day oh yeah up. that's a good idea um, um, yeah, so hey, we wanted to show, we did have that uh, picture you sent hey. out before we go. Now it's just a screenshot of you took it over the screen, so it's not a, a perfect photo uh -huh. here, but yeah. Take a look at this, <laughs> so this was from a while ago. Do we remember what Posey was showing Let off? Let me see, I think show? it was Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Mother's Day, because there's my mom, mm -hmm. um, and there's Posey, and my mom has a, a sister, Nanny, I made her Orzo, remember, last week. Yeah. And then my mom, they also have a brother, Trotter, and Posey had, um, um, eight granddaughters. Great so stuff. So we are um, certainly enjoying sending pictures and videos of her in our group text and um, just missing her, but you know, we're, we're happy we had her. All right, love you, friend. <laughs> Thank you. We'll love be you. right back with more Studio 10.